Hello Sycamore Junior High and happy day four of Computer Science Education Week. Today is Thursday, December 9th, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Anna. And I'm Lily. Thank you for joining us today. And now let's all unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we honor our country while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice Thank you, and please be seated. Our December Spirit Week starts this coming Monday, December 13th, and runs all the way through the last day before winter break. The Student Council will soon be sharing our special theme days, although I heard yesterday from an anonymous source that I should be ready to wear my comfy plaid or flannel on Monday, December 13th, and now I'm hearing that I should wear something striped on Tuesday. I can't wait to find out what we're doing the rest of the days. Where are you getting all this information? By the way, did you see all the teachers today? They all looked like snowmen or snow people wearing jeans. I know. Mrs. Schill even had a top hat on. Something is going on around here. Now, did you also know that today and timely for our computer science week that Grace Hopper was born on this day? Who is Grace Hopper? She was one of the first programmers of the Harvard Mark I computer, which was used in the war effort in the Manhattan Project from 1944. Hopper went on to invent the first compiler for a universal computer programming language. And she also is credited with coining the phrase debugging, as for removing a moth with tweezers from a relay and, ta and taping it into the log. Following her accomplishments and naval rank, she is also referred to as Amazing Grace. The USS Hopper, a BERT class guided missile destroyer, was named for her, as was the Cray XE6 Hopper supercomputer. Wow, those are really advanced accomplishments. And yes, it is getting pretty festive around here, and I'm getting ready for winter break. I'm working hard so I don't have much homework before the break. Next, we have Friday survey results, asking if you like cats or dogs better, but, do but it was dogs who came for the win. I'm a dog person myself. The riddle from yesterday was, what has 10 letters and starts with gas? And the answer is, automobile. It has to start with gas. Well, unless you have an electric car. True, but what about gastronomy? The riddle for today is the first two letters of the word um, signify a male, the first three letters signify a female, the first four letters signify a great, well the entire word signifies a great woman. What is the word? The answer will be given during tomorrow's announcements. Our fact of the day. Did you know that today is National Pastry Day? Oh, I love pastries. Same, my favorite are macaroons. Also, good luck to the swimming team. Now on to the birthdays. Let's see who shares a birthday with Grace Hopper. Happy birthday to Eva S. We hope you have a fantastic day and an even better year. Next up, the brilliant and intelligent Mr. Harris with the activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, intramural basketball, if you're interested in intramural basketball, don't forget that is going to be on Saturday starting uh, January 8th, Saturdays from 12 to 2 in the new gym. Those dates are all listed. We've talked about them before. Check uh, your junior high news crew information uh, page for those dates and everything for intramural basketball. Uh, applications for the Cinnovation Lab are due on January 14th. The Cinnovation Lab is a special program they do at our high school. Um, you can visit at Cinnovation Lab on Twitter for more information. And remember, those applications are due on January 14th. And last but not least, this is a repeat of yesterday. We love our students coming to support our junior high athletes here at school. Just a few rules to remember. First of all, you must leave after school and come back at 4.15. They're not going to let you back in the games before 4.15 because our games start at 4.30. The cost for games is $3. All right, once you're in the gym, you need to stay in the gym and stay in your seat. Don't act a fool up there and everything like that. And at the conclusion of the game, make sure your parents are here in the parking lot to pick you up and take you home so that way you're not wandering around a building unattended and unsupervised, all right? That's the rules for following our, uh, for watching our games. Please follow those rules and come out and support our Aviator Athletics. That's it for me today. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Now we have Mrs. Bernowski with an important announcement. All right, hello staff and students of Sycamore Junior High. Molly Bernowski here, assistant principal. I have a couple of different updates to remind everybody about. So as we start to close the 2021 calendar year, 
there are some reminders from our code of conduct that I would like to provide everybody. So firstly, dress code. Okay, students, we are seeing a trend of people wearing blankets to school. I don't know if this was explicitly spelled out in our dress code policy, but it is going to be a no on the blanket. So if you're wearing a blanket today, please remember not to bring it tomorrow and no blankets here on out. It is not part of our dress code policy. Um, also, no pajamas. I know they're comfy. I know we want to stay home on a snow day, but no pajamas to be worn at school, please. Um, also, I had the pleasure of joining our student council about a week ago, and we had a great conversation in regards to dress code. So thank you to those students who had that conversation with me. And one of the things that we talked about that would, I would love to provide some clarity on is the dress code policy around crop tops and exposed midriffs. So why do we have that as a policy? The reason is, is that we are preparing our students for a professional environment and the professional world. So for most of the jobs that you will go into when you're older, you would not be permitted to wear a crop top or to have your stomach exposed. Um, in no way are we trying to be demeaning, but really setting you up for success. So the same goes for, and, and crop tops and midriffs exposed is the probably number one dress code referral for girls. Now for boys, the number one dress code referral is around hoodies. And the reason why we ask you to keep your hoodie down is because it is a safety need. So for example, say something should happen at school and we have to go back and watch on the camera to see what happened. If we have a bunch of students wearing hoodies, we won't be able to identify what happened. Also, it is for your safety to be able to see around you clearly, so not having a hoodie blocking your vision should you need to react quickly in a situation. Um, another reminder for everybody, cell phones. Se cell phones are to be off and put away in lockers. At no point should we see a cell phone out in class um, or in the hallway. If we do see a cell phone, we will ask for it. The first time you have a cell phone violation, you um, will be able to retrieve it at the end of the day at the office. The second time you have your cell phone out when you should not, it is a parent or guardian pickup. So, uh, please remember cell phones off and away. All right, since we're talking about discipline, uh, we have been reviewing our discipline data as a building and the time of day where we see the most student code of conduct violations is fifth bell. Makes you wonder why, why are we seeing that during fifth bell? We believe it's because lunch is during fifth bell, fifth bell is longer, and there's more unstructured time. So as a reminder, we are keeping an eye on fifth bell and we would like to see a decrease in that area. Teachers, reminder for you, we do have our fifth bell PBIS card challenge. So teachers, as a reminder, you received PBIS cards or, P or first class tickets for every student in your fifth bell, please find an opportunity to be handing those out. And teachers, we will be doing a drawing of those cards um, the two days before winter break to provide some prizes for you as well. All right, everybody, that is all the updates I have in regards to discipline and PBIS, and thank you for listening. Now we have Regis and Anna with Daily Lunch. Welcome to today's lunch segment with Anna and Regis. Today we have lunch there will be French toast sticks, eggs, and sausage. There will also be the unusual chicken sandwiches, pizza, and salads. And if you're planning ahead for tomorrow, there will be a rice bowl. Have a great day! Check the SJH Communications Classroom for today's daily survey and computer science activities as well as check those emails. Time for the joke of the day. Today's joke is, why don't scientists trust atoms? Hmm, I don't know, why? They just make everything up. <laughs> oh my. Go Waves!